Welcome to another edition of My Checker, the show where I talk to dope people doing dope and interesting things. I got one of my friends. I've known her since my backsliding days, I say, when I was throwing parties. <laughs> way, way back, way back. <laughs> Stacy. She sneakers and sneakers, sneakers and handbags, right? That's it. That's, that's right. Like, yeah, that's I had it written right. down correctly. All right. Yes, that's sneakers it. Sneakers and handbags, champ. She's way bigger than our uh, uh, our network on YouTube. Um, she got on YouTube early when we should have been on YouTube, and now we're trying to figure out the YouTube thing. We was only audio, and I tell people all the time that was one of my biggest mistakes um, in yeah. doing this is that I didn't. I got on YouTube late. I was anti no, YouTube for a long time. There's no late with YouTube. I, and I, to me, at, at one time, I thought being my age on YouTube was late, mm. but there's still an audience because I went to school for marketing. I just got my uh, bachelor's degree in marketing um, about a month ago. Oh, <laughs> thanks. So you, you graduated online, basically. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes I'm done. I'm, I'm not getting no more papers. I'm done. <laughs> and I'm now 45. I'll tell my age. And yeah. I got on seven years ago. So I was in my thirties doing it. And you would think the demographic is younger, but I remember I wrote a paper and the demographic is like 35 to 65 on YouTube. A lot of people don't realize that. So us, us mature seasoned <laughs> people, we can come on YouTube. We can get, we can get the numbers. It may be a little slower, but no, you can still get the numbers, especially if you have something to talk about. Right. And not and not sensational yeah. content either, because that content okay. is just going to just give you a peek for the moment. And oh they're not going to stay consistently there with you. No. I mean, you got your you're feeding off of other people's misery, stars <laughs> misery. And I, and I put that in quotes because rich people problems are different than us regular people. Yeah. So the baby and Danny Lay breaking up doesn't concern me when I'm trying to figure out how the hell I can get in and out of Target in 20 minutes without people being near me. Yeah. That's my, that's what I want to hear about is how, I, I don't, I mean, yeah, I keep up with it. I mean, yeah, I mean, Kanye and Kim, yeah, I know about all that, but that's not my life. Yeah. That's why my channel is about what it is, you know? And yeah, then no, and my real. blog now too, so yeah. So yeah, let's let's start from the beginning. So how did you come up with doing the channel and the, the concept of so the concept of is makeup, sneakers, and handbags? Obviously, be sneakers and handbags. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, when I first started, I was naturally Stacy, and it was just about natural hair. And I was getting when I first cut my hair off, I was getting all these questions like, "Oh, what product do you use? What do you do?" Blah blah blah. And I sat down and I was like, "I think I want to start a YouTube." And I did it, and I remember talking a friend of mine a long time ago, like probably one of my earliest videos. She was like, oh, my God, how can you do, how can you get in front of a camera and talk to people? I said, I, used, I did radio a couple of times. That's how mm -hmm. easy it is. And I'm an introvert, and it's <laughs> hard. But I'll talk to a camera. I'm not talking to anybody. Right, so it it's, it's, easy. it's easier because you just, there's nobody to really give you the reaction. <laughs> Girl, shut up. You're babbling too damn much. Nobody's there for do that. <laughs> no, but, the, but I edit it out. <laughs> so I can edit all that crap out of it. So, uh, uh, which I still do. I still, but yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's just getting better with the crap. Right, exactly. So, I, after just getting a lot of questions about natural hair, I just say, you know what, I'm going to do a um, YouTube channel. So, I did my first video. I'm sitting on my bed, and then my first video. And then after that, I started sitting on the, the edge of the bathroom tub. And you would see in the early videos, if you ever paid attention to my early videos, you would see the, the shower curtain inch in. Because you couldn't keep it. It, it was yeah. the, the poor stuff was coming towards you every time. Yes, it was like, dun, 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 like Jaws. So every video, there was always me moving the freaking shower curtain or other people in the other room loud. I'm like, hey, can you keep it down? I'm like yelling. That was before I learned how to edit and I'm like recording on a laptop. And then now- So you didn't have no camera, no nothing. You just- Oh no, oh no, no, no. I didn't move into a camera until, damn. I think that's when I finally carved out space in the bedroom. 
and I got a Sony A5100. That's the camera I had. I was just trying to figure out which camera I had. I had a Sony. And now my mom has my camera. Actually, I gave it to her. And I was like, okay, I want to carve out a studio. So I bought these big box lights and I got the ring light and I got all the camera equipment and all that stuff. And, and in my background, I was like, I want to, I'm not the typical YouTuber. So my background was my albums and my DVD collection. But that's and, I was like, I, I, like I said, like I made mine like this, like it was just going to be my character of who I am. Right, exactly. <laughs> and I think it, it's easier to have you to be authentic because I don't want to be anybody else. I like Stacey. I really like Stacey. I think she's a fun girl. Sometimes she's a little boring, but that's okay. She's a fun girl. <laughs> right. So when I did that and I made that my background and I started just really digging in, it it got to be fun. But then after a while, I would have, but then when I, I was working full time, then I went to school. I'm like, how the hell am I going to fit all this in? And my mom is like, you are not going to have a social life. I said, mom, I stopped going out years ago. Back when, so, my, my, when my party stopped. Yeah, actually, <laughs> it might have been around. That might have been around the time I did stop going out because I stopped going out. I went in. I had to go in the hospital, and I was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't drink. Uh, that was horrible. I and still, I just, I still, I, as you see, I'm, I still sip, sip a little bit. Oh no, I just finished. So oh okay, I, just, I had my cup. Don't worry. No, I couldn't at that time, the time. Got drink. You. Got you. Okay, last week's video, real quick, was <laughs> it was a, a viewer request of quarantine and self care favorites. Okay. If you watch that video, not it's not makeup. If you watch that video, you're gonna see an empty bottle of wine because that was one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I went through so much liquor and wine. Uh, if I was in a state that had edibles and stuff, I'd probably be going through that too. Um, it, I mean, oh. I literally. My sister lives in Denver and I'm mad she can't send me any. <laughs> Seriously. <it's> crime. <laughs> Yo, can you send me some stuff or do I need to fly? What we gotta do? Because yeah. I mean, oh my gosh. But it, it's so crazy. Speaking of, she's texting. <laughs> but it's, it's so funny how the the quarantine, that's a whole conversation by itself, the quarantine and the weight gain and the cookies. Lots of cookies. Lots of cookies? <laughs> lots and lots of cookies. So like, like so starting a so starting a YouTube page, like yes. so what was your biggest hurdle you felt when starting it? I think just getting people to watch. I think that was my biggest hurdle. And it, cause I didn't know how to promote and I'm still learning. Here's the thing with, with YouTube for me, I'm still learning. I'm still learning a lot I don't of think stuff. It's, I don't think you can never stop learning with that. Cause the algorithm changes like every two weeks, like one week, you're like, oh, every no, I got week. it. Yeah. yeah you like every, you, yeah, you're you like, oh no, I got it. I'm, my hits is coming. Then you be like, I did the same exact thing. The same exact tags. Why is it? Yep. Why is it lower? You were like, man, they didn't change the algorithm on my ass. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like. It's funny, I was just having that conversation with one of my sisters, and I was just like, because she's been kind of bouncing ideas off of me of things I should do, yeah. and I, I thank her for that, and she was like, maybe you should go to two videos a week. She's like, you're home now. Maybe you should do that, and I'm just like, hmm, that's an idea. So I've been kind of bouncing that idea around because if I do it, it's going to start in March. So I think I don't have it much time. Right, you got a couple of weeks. <laughs> really think and they start recording videos so the thing is for me i think it's just getting people to giving the best content for people to watch and you could talk about products all damn day but what what makes you stand out from the other person that has five thousand subs or ten thousand subs what makes you different so I'm just like, you know what? I'm over 40. There's your difference. Okay. <laughs> 40. I say her and there sometimes. So here, let's go. I mean, what else can I do? So when you, so when you did like, when you got to the thousand subscribers, was that like, man, we like, I made it like you made that threshold. Oh yeah. I, I, it, yeah. I was so happy. I was super happy because 
I was with, I was actually with my family when I hit the thousand and I was with my sister, my sister, and my youngest niece were over and I hit a 1000. I was like, <gasps> and the first thing I was thinking like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Okay. Should I do a giveaway? What should I do? Oh my God, <laughs> you didn't have a plan ahead of time. You was like, no, no, <laughs> no. And my mom's like, giveaway. What you give? You don't need to be giving nothing away. People should be giving you stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> mom, damn. my mom, I mean, I love my mama. But I understood what she was saying yeah. and I understood it. And I was originally going to do a giveaway, but it just didn't happen. <laughs> so I was just like, well, maybe at, at maybe at 5,000, I'll do a giveaway. I don't know. But I had thought about, oh, okay, well, maybe I'll get better editing software at 1,000. Still didn't do it. I'm still using um, um, iMovie. Okay. It, it, it does the job. Yeah. So <laughs> why? Why change what, what, what changed? Know. What changed? Did, did, did the algorithm change for you? You feel like when you hit the thousand? No, <laughs> it did. So, yeah, I wish it I did. To. I wish I seriously wish it would. I need it to change for me now. Um, <laughs> it really, what happened after I hit my thousand was right, and then not long after that is when, um, what did they call it? Not Armageddon. It was it, it was kind of like an Armageddon happened. Oh, is that that's is that when they start with the uh, st uh the content like with cussing and stuff like that? Like yeah, that and uh, you had to have a thousand subscribers and then four thousand um views, like, uh, hours, hours. Views. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's okay, because you had yours right before that. I had my thousand before that, but I didn't have the viewing hours yet. So did they retract so, you back? Yes. They killed, oh. I, I had a partner. I was a partner. I was a partner at that time. And then when that happened, that killed my partnership. So then I'm like, crap, I got the thousand, but I need the viewer hours, which screwed me up so bad. And I was pissed. And I remember I did a video. I was talking about a, a dark and lovely product. And at the beginning of the video, I take I recorded a piece in front of that video talking about my feelings on it. And I was just like, look, I've been working at my job for 18, I think it was like 18 years at that job. And I'm like, I this is a hobby. This isn't my main job. Because I was hearing that there were people saying, please subscribe to my channel. Please, or I'm gonna have to take my channel down. Yes, I, I remember they that They were push. making a living off of it. Yeah, but I saw people <laughs> making a push to like, I gotta get to a thousand. Yeah, oh, they're going to, I'm going to. Uh, they're, they're going. I got to get to a thousand soon. Please, just you don't even have to like. You come back again. Just yeah. give me over a thousand. And I'm like, do you all not realize you need a real job? You seriously need a real job. And like I said, at that time, I I was still working at the same company at that time, 18 years, and I was like, this is something I do because I love doing it. Yes, I wasn't getting the return. I got. I only received one check from AdSense and it was like a hundred bucks. Oh, you know, I wasn't tripping out on it because I had a paid job, a paying job, but it would be nice to get a return off that camera that I had, the lights, the, you know, buying products and stuff. I wasn't getting, I, I only had by that time, I had a, um, deal with a jewelry company. It was like a rent, um, kind of a rental jewelry company. If you like it, you buy it. If not, you send it back type thing. Oh, wow. How did that work out for them? That, um, I don't know. I, I think it worked out pretty decent for them, but they didn't. No, I mean, like, as a company of doing that, like, and it's like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, the thing was, they, it, they only did it for like three months for me. That was the, that was the um, whole package. And they didn't pay me. They just was like, here, put on our jewelry, talk about it in your video, and that's it. Now, this is before I realized I should be getting paid right to do that for my services. But I went on and did it because it was beautiful. It was a really pretty stuff. But now I'm just like, no, I gotta get paid. And ever since I changed my name, I did the name change the sneakers and handbags, I've been getting hits for, oh, we're looking for brand ambassadors and this like that. And I'm like, how much y'all paying? Or, or or are we or are we are we bartering? What are you giving me that to barter for this? It's just not we just not gonna just do this. Exactly. Are and you sending I me mean, new sneakers every month? We can do that. Now, now if there was sneakers, now if Nike <laughs> wants to do something with your girl, I mean, because I mean, they send you Air Maxes every month. You you down? Boy, look. 
And I'm talking about the 95s. I'm talking about the 95s. No, I, I'll take the 95s. I like the 95s. <laughs> the 95s it's funny, the I was just looking at a pair of 97s because I was coming, was, I ran the Target earlier and this guy was walking out of Target. He had on a pair of gold 97s. And, oh, where you get those shoes? I ordered them online. I was like, I already saw those online. I know where they are. I'm looking them up. And I'm like, here they are, you know. So my friend and I was just like, dude, they're right here. Just come to me. I'll tell you where to find the shoes. Yeah, I know where to get them. At. I right. need, well, I need you to find me the Reebok yeah. Pump Black Top. Uh, uh, see, see, I got specific shoes. Oh, my God. You said Reebok Pump. Yes, That's where I was the like. black top edition, <laughs> the black top edition that was per uh, with remember, Sinbad was in the commercial. If you remember okay. that commercial, I it think was I that remember street that ball. they're purple, black, white, okay. uh, and they're Reebok pump black tops. I cannot find them to save my life. Send me a text, I'll look, I'll see if I'm, I can, I can send you a picture of the commercial with somebody with those shoes on, <laughs> even better. I'll let you girl, let me see what I can do. Let me see if I can find them, let me see if I can find them. Let me see if I can find them. So, so, yeah. when you, so because that, that's the whole thing is like, I guess the uh, illustrious a thousand is everybody's always talking about the thousand, a thousand. And I'm always like, I'd rather build up, it's, from my experience, I knew how I was building up the podcast side, right? the audio side. And I just apply that to this side that I want to build up my people that we get on the YouTube side with this and because because people won't get the audio version that stay with the audio with this. some people that wanted YouTube they're over here and right. I wanted to build them up just like we did with the podcast build them up brick by brick build them up build right. them up and they said just like everybody just give me a thousand subscriptions it don't mean nothing if you got five views on something but you got a thousand subscribers right it's fraudulent and to me like and when I see that I'm like oh damn they got, they got five thousand subscribers but then you like but they have less views than I do <laughs> Funny, I know some people like that. And so, are they paying for subscribers? <laughs> They're basically paying for subscribers, right? No, they may have friends and family that are subscribing, and then some people, and then you could have some people that pay. Because I have heard of people paying for subscriptions. I just I to get to that money. thousand, just to get to the thousand. Yeah, basically. to get to that thousand, and I've seen people go past the thousand, but then. Like, okay, one person who I am no longer friends with. <laughs> I happen to, yeah, I happened to take a peek at her channel. And because my, I was having a conversation with my sister. And I happened to take a peek at their channel. This person has like 5,000 subs. But like the last video they put out only had like 30 views. And I'm yeah, like. Yeah, that isn't, that isn't mathematically like sense. I mean, with 5,000, I would at, th at least think you would get a thousand views i could see even even that. even 10 percent, 500 thank you even but if you just say on the low end five to yeah five, low end 10 percent. now my highest video my highest viewed video was five or six five six years ago about pant uh panting gold series products five thousand views and i only mm -hmm. have a thousand subs but when I dropped that video, I was one of the first people to drop a video on that product. Yeah, I see the same. Yeah. <clears throat> so you have to get in early with when it comes to product testing. You got to get in early. You get in early and fast. I got to the point now. I'm I'm last. I'm slow. I got so many <laughs> products upstairs. I got so many products. I, and then, like I said, I was going to school. I was working full time. I trying to sleep. I ain't got time for it. Yeah, because oh, it's, okay. it's, it's interesting because we did that. Uh, so do you, you did you hear the Omar Wilson song, uh, Secret Garden, the remake? I think I've it's heard. with Omar Wilson, Sean Stockman, <clears throat> um, Cisco. Oh, um, Sean Stockman. Why did I think of John Stockman? Sorry. Oh, wow. That would be amazing <laughs> if John Stockton was an RB singer now. Amazing. <laughs> I, I need to write that down. I I need to write that down for my uh, for my Akbar character. I need to write oh that down. Oh my god! I don't know where I can. No, 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 no. That is amazing. I'm literally writing this down right now. I was just having a basketball conversation with somebody. John Stockton on the Secret Garden remix. <laughs> I'm talking about somebody. I can't remember what the conversation was about. I don't remember, but. <laughs> So the craziest stuff comes through my head. I don't know. Yeah, but in, in uh, and Raheem Devon is the other artist that's on there with him. So he oh, okay. remade. I'm gonna have to listen. Oh. And so we were the first, so what happened was on our uh, on our show. I only listen to '90s music. We we yeah. saw that and made fun of it. He had googled his name, I guess, 
emailed me, hit me up like, yo, why y'all making fun of me on y'all show? Let me come on. Wow. So we were like the first big, inter- and if you look at, if you go to look up the music video, that our video is the yeah. first one because we said, because I titled it, how did you come up with making the secret garden? And yeah. anytime people watch that, they automatically go to that interview we did with okay, him. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to that then. I'm gonna have to listen to that. Yeah, I, so I yeah, so and and, and he literally hit us up like, "Yo, why are you making fun of me?" I was like, "Right, hold on, we only had maybe how thirty you find views." Us? Yeah, like right. like I was like he had, but I was like, "Yo, you're smarter than a lot of other people. Most people won't Google their name to try to figure out a some a smaller podcast or something like that." And we, yeah. we he, he even hit me up now like we talk on uh, IG and he's like, "Yo." Y'all helped me blow it up too because people were mm-hmm. looking at y'all thing trying to figure out what I was doing and it was a mutual thing. And people don't yeah. understand that digital footprint. Like yes. and people are starting yeah. to get that more, I think, with quarantine. Like a lot of like a lot of people are starting to maybe mm-hmm. get that, like, yo, like you know yes. what? Maybe I do need to do like a smaller person's YouTube page or yes. podcast because I need digital right. footprint out here. <laughs> yes. And I think for me. Uh, what was it, December, I was just, I mean, because I have the YouTube, and I've had the YouTube like seven years, and I was like, okay, you're about to finish school, what you about to do? Because I have time now, and I'm like, oh, yeah. uh, and then I lost my job, so I was like, uh, what really am I going to do? So as I'm looking for a job, I started a, a, a blog. Well, I didn't start the blog, I had the blog, and I made it into a website, a full-on <laughs> website. Yeah. So it was just like, so now let's you, now just you go. Po- now you re- re- you reintroducing that material from your videos, so they're posted somewhere, not as digital footprint for the blog because now the videos are posted there. They're clicking right. it because it's embedded, I'm assuming, on the yes. site and yes. boom. Mm-hmm. And then plus I'm, my blog is mainly just me talking about things I'm in, other things that I'm into. Like um, last Wednesday, I put out a blog, My Love of Music. And I just talked about how music has been, I mean, when I was in a womb, music has been there. And then you go on and like anybody that comes to my house, my old, my old apartment, you would walk in and you would walk into my front door and you turn to the right, two bookcases of albums. And everybody would be like, oh my God. And then just looking at all the albums I have. And I inherited my album, my collection from my parents. Ah. So yeah. So my mom was like, uh, these are in the basement. You want them? I'm like, hell yeah. What? let's get the crate let's go let's get them so i mean my my album collection is probably my prized thing and that's why that was another reason why i started the blog and then i'm actually going to be pulling some of that into the youtube also so it's I, i'm i watch out watch uh, out for the youtube flags you for five seconds of somebody's song <laughs> oh no i'm not gonna play it i'm just gonna talk about it. oh yeah you yeah yeah, see, oh no, uh uh-uh. uh. See, YouTube. And that was a part of the Armageddon you. thing, too, was them c- cracking down on that as well. Yes, yes. That that whole situation. And, and I that was around 2017, uh, maybe? 2017, 2018, I think. Yeah. yeah. And I remember having conversations with other YouTubers that I know personally. And one, one girl, she was like, I, she, she was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm like, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. I'm doing it. You can do it. I'm like, we both have paying jobs, so we're not going to lose. She ended up gaining more than I did, but I think some of that has to do with age because also a lot of even people our age want to look at younger people. That's and true. I'm like, they cute, but <laughs> I can't relate to some yeah. of this stuff. <laughs> I mean, I love wearing eyelashes, but I don't want my eyelashes so far out that I can't see. So it's kind of hard to relate to that. Nothing against it. It's just not Nothing for you. It. It's just not for me, exactly. So, but yeah, that Armageddon thing was so crazy. But you got it. I had to keep pushing through because I was like, I'm not gonna stop doing YouTube. I'm not. So, like, well, is so, it like the, is the, the the dust being settled? You feel like the dust is kind of settled from that Armageddon? Uh, yeah, I think that has settled. But then the new situation was COVID. So now you have people, I mean, I, I watch a lot of luxury videos, unfortunately. <laughs> God, consumerism, it's a, it's yeah. a thing, okay, it's a thing. And while in COVID, I'm watching the girls buy the Gucci and the Fendi and the, the, the Hermes and things like that, and they're still buying it. We're in the freaking pandemic. 
people are losing their jobs. But you still okay. But oh, then I was watching, so so <laughs> and so you oh you're saying that that people were maybe over over extending themselves during that time during the heavy part of the pandemic. I don't think they were overextending themselves. I think more so people were just going on with the status quo and the state, not trying to reading stay the same the instead room. of uh, uh, like instead of adapting. Yeah, instead of read the room. The room right now, people are losing their jobs. People are home. You got people foreclosures and things like that. So it's kind of like we got to hope. Let, let's kind of change. I'm not going to say change the format because I notice a lot of popular YouTubers change their formats. Because like a lot of the makeup girls, a lot of them aren't doing makeup anymore. You got a lot of them doing home decor and lifestyle stuff or mm. mom stuff. And I notice a lot of them pivoting into different areas of YouTube, which is cool. I get it. But, and I kind of did the same thing too. <laughs> Actually, I pivoted before COVID. The COVID because I was doing tech unboxings. I was unboxing uh, laptops and phones. And um, I was talking about handbags and I was doing other stuff, but I didn't make the massive pivot to get fully away from natural hair. It's still there, but it's not every week. Hey, I'm gonna talk about this product. Hey, I'm gonna talk about that product. I, I need more than a week with products now. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, so then COVID happens. Uh, we were talking about it previously. We were getting on. I was like, yo, stop it. We got, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, yeah, we, yeah, we got yeah. this needs to be on the show. I thought you, like I said, I thought you said, yo, I just broke my leg and I couldn't record. Like, that, yeah, that was real simple. You're like, no, no, no. And I was no, like, hold on, stop it, Stacey. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. all the stuff we were talking about on the, on the, on the show. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm messing it up. Yeah. So, so what happened was July. Um, actually July, August, I think actually was my last video in uh, 2020 and it was a favorites video. And I think, you know, it was like odds and ends stuff. And after that video, and I had pre-recorded that video and I sat down and I'm at this time, I'm working from home. I'm, you know, chilling, trying to like, okay, I got to figure out how I can exercise. You know, I'm not walking that mile every day, you know, mm -hmm. for work. And then George Floyd happened. And I remember, I remember vividly hearing about it. And I was like, oh, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Then I saw the video. And I'm like, holy shit, this really happened. Then, oh, I'm sorry, I'm cussing. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You can cuss. Uh, I mean, I'm drinking alcohol on here. Like, I'm Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm mad. I wish you would have told me I would have had my drink too. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't need no more drinks. But um, George Floyd happened in... Um, Rihanna Taylor and Ahmaud Aubrey and all these things happen. And I just sat back and I was just like, I cannot do videos authentically telling people to buy a hair product when we're in the middle of a pandemic. And then you're hearing about people losing their jobs. And then Black folks are getting shot yet again for no reason. We're seeing it yet again. And I'm like, I can't do this. I can't in good conscience, in good faith, do it. And then like probably a month after that, my hours got cut. So I went down to four days a week. So I'm just sitting there like, okay, I got to change my spending. So, and then I made that conscious choice. Like I can't buy all these products and do all these videos also. So let me sit my ass down for a minute. Let me sit down. I'll watch YouTube, but I can't participate right now. Let me, let me sit back and, and think. And then I came back in December after I moved and, oh, I don't, you might, well, hold on. Let me see if I can get her. Nope. Okay. My cat. <laughs> no, cats oh. are very, very, like, like they, they very, very much like, uh, I want to say shysty people. They're just uh, real. I ain't messing with you unless I want to mess with you. Yeah, she um she gets in the camera sometimes because like in they're, some of she's in Capricorn some of my videos. They're very Capricorn. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, was, I, mean, I, she know, made, I know Capricorns are like, what? Like, yeah. Yeah, they she, they have a little Capricorn, Capricorn tendency. Y'all know how Capricorns are. They're very like, all right. I dated one once. And they're very sometimey. 
Yeah, I know. Like you'll be, you don't know what you're gonna get into when you call them. Like you'll be like, are they gonna be super happy? Or are they gonna be? Or like, like annoying as hell. Yeah, or annoyed, or annoyed that you called them, or sounding right. like they're you annoyed. Like you told right. me to call you. Like, right? Like, hello. Why are you annoyed? <laughs> like, why? Let me go. I got other things to do. Yeah. I'm a Scorpio. I ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpios, we don't call nobody. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. I am man. I am the most MIA person. <laughs> and y'all very possessive of anything. Especially my sneakers and my cookies. Anything, very possessive of anything. <laughs> I can be, I can be at times. I'll admit to mine, I can be. Especially <laughs> my cookies and my sneakers. See? And my handbags. <laughs> See, see? So no, yeah, so we we had, uh, so you, you were going, you were like, yo, in December you came back and. Yeah, I came back in December and I did like an update video of why I, I stopped. And I did that video, then I did a part two. And the part two was basically saying, hey, not just, yeah, I stopped, but then I lost my job a week after my birthday, right before Thanksgiving. I lost my job of 20 years. So it's just like, this is real. COVID, is it, is, I mean, COVID hit me anyway, but COVID hit me. Yeah. So that's why I was just like, do I want to come back to YouTube? And that was that moment. It was like, I'm going to have to come back to YouTube because if I just sit around and do crazy. me wrong. Yeah. Yes. Or I was going to sit around and watch my 600 pound life and end up being one of those people. 600 pound people. <laughs> yes. And Dr. Now's going to be like, now sexy, you have to stop eating so much and you need to let go of the liquor. No, Dr. Now, but, I need Like COVID has been on for 10 life. years, Stacey. <laughs> to, to like the gym. The like, half, this is 2031, my... Stacy. Right. Why are you still depressed from COVID? Be like, well, Dr. Nell, I need my Perucho Lay, Dr. Nell. <laughs> hey, I like my 600 pound life. I watched the show. I, I ended up getting getting starting watching it when I was in Denver for a trip, and I've been watching it ever since. On and off watching it ever since. So, <laughs> so, so you're shout like, out to that I'm gym. back. So you like, I'm back in yeah. December. I said, I'm back in December. And in January, I came back full force. And every week in January, I had, a, I think I missed a week though. I did miss one week in January. I didn't have it edited. That was what was wrong. And in February, I'm, I batch, now I'm getting to the point I'm batch recording so I can have all the videos done. And then just edit, so there's no one, then edit one whole week, record one week, edit one week, yes. hit record one yeah. week. Mm-hmm. So yeah, actually, uh, what was it? Uh, not too long ago, I recorded four videos in one day. Okay, so you made, made was, you did for the whole month. Basically, you did everything for the yes. whole month. Yes, lots of sweatsuit changes because I Yo, okay. Got I, I, I literally had uh, literally I had podcast one day with three different recordings. I had three yeah. different outfits, three different sets of hats, and I was yes. like, <laughs> yes. But, uh, but I got on. But then my daughter goes. Daddy, you got on uh, you got on uh, uh sleeping pajama. You got on pajama pants though. I was like, don't. Why are you talking to me about this? Yes, I have pajama Ooh. pants on, but my. But we killing our body, right? That's all you gonna see. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. Oh um, I used to sit in Zoom meetings with paj Well, no, actually, no. I made sure I at least had on sweatpants, but and I I do that every time. Like right now, I'm wearing a jumpsuit, so I was like, okay, it's like pajamas, but. <laughs> It's a regular jumpsuit. I could leave the house in it. Because you don't want really, to be like, what was the CNN dude that got up and he was like naked up under there or something? Oh, like, yeah. He had on his, you could see his underpants. It was like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, no. I, I mean, I've heard of YouTubers just taping and recording in just the top and nothing, but I've heard of it. But like, sometimes I'll record in here, which is the dining room, or I'll record in the living room, which all the videos this month were in the living room. And if I widen out, you will see my pants. So I make sure I'm wearing a matching sweatsuit. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's matching. That's the key of it all. That's the key yes. of it all. Key is matching. Other than that, I don't care. So why the sneaker uh, affection that you have? Why do you have the sneaker affection that you have? Oh, you can already get into a blog. Oh, no, no, let's take a step back. How did it start? How did the sneaker How did it start? Yes. Yeah. Oh, let's go back to 1996. Okay. That is a great was, year in general. Like yes. like across the board. Yeah. For anything. Music, clothes, yes, shoes, yes. movies, um, yes. whatever you wanted to do, 96 yes. was it. Yes. 
96, I graduated college for the first time. I got my associates in interior design and I got laid off from a job. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I worked at Builder Square. Yes, oh, I'll take it snap. in back. Hold on, yo. I forgot about Builder Square yes. until you just said that. Yes. Oh, snap. Yes. Were you at the one in yes. Brentwood? Um, no, I was at the one on um, Manchester in the city off of King's Highway. Okay. Like, uh, I, didn't, I didn't even know it was one over there. <laughs> yes. We were not far. Um, Sam's was in there and Kmart. All of that was in that same oh, Manchester spot. and Kings Highway. Yeah, it's like okay, like if oh, you there was a South Sam's King's on Highway, Kings Highway. Yeah, no, 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 it was on Manchester. Like okay, say if you're coming from um, say you're coming from the hospitals. Yep. Make a right on the King onto uh, Manchester. Go all yep. the way down past the Amico and all that. Uh, yeah, it was actually before um, damn, what was that? What shit? was it? Was it before NPO rallies? Um. I think it was after, no, 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 no. Hold on, was Sam's where that uh, restaurant uh, store is now where you could buy restaurant uh, equipment? Yes. Is that where the Sam's was? It's across from Charter and everything where Charter used to be. Yes, yes, in that plaza. So that was the Sam's is where that restaurant uh, yes. uh, uh, equipment and, place is. And Builder Square was on the end. Yes. Okay, well, that makes sense now since I'm visually seeing it. I don't remember yeah. that being a Sam's though, but I, yeah. wow. Yeah, it was, yeah. Cause I bought the day Tupac died. I was buying a TV from that Sam. <laughs> That's how I remember. I remember hearing Tupac passed away and I'm in the car with a coworker and he was taking me home with my television. And I'm like, Oh my God, Tupac died. And I like lost it. So yes. Yes. And that yes, is 96. Yes. The year of 96. Yes. yes. And um, what happened? Oh, I was, uh, I used to design kitchens and bathrooms there and I got laid off and I ended up, one of my neighbors had a nephew that and was. If people don't understand, Builder Square was closing uh, 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 very soon after that. <laughs> so, um, actually, yeah, Builder Square saying, yeah, ended her layoff up. was 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 a uh, was a prequel yeah. to what was happening to the company. <laughs> so be actually no, you're right because yeah. um, Home Depot came in. Yeah, no, 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 Home I Depot know. Was, was because they were gone before ninety nine, ninety eight. Yes. Builder Square yes. was gone. Because Heckinger's bought Builder Square, and I never heard of Heckinger's. They're out of East Coast. They bought Builder Square out, and then Home Depot people were coming in a secret shopping and taking people. Oh, you, you're great. You did great customer service. Here, come to Builder Square. Come to uh, Home Depot. We really? give you a job. Yes. They took a bunch of people out that store. Yep. The, and they, it, they, um, the one on South Kings Highway. A lot of people I used to work with went to the South Kings Highway Builders. I mean, uh, Home, Home Depot. Depot. Yes. Wow. Yes. The one up uh, Kings Highway and is, uh, I guess, Chippewa, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one over by, um, what was, what's that restaurant? Applebee's. No, no, no. Um, local restaurant. Eat Right? No. Um, oh, crap. I, I know can't you think of it. But you know, about. it's not far from uh, Uncle Bill's and all yeah. of that. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. So, oh yeah, no, no, no. It's right by where uh uh yeah, it is eat right. Oh, okay, yeah. There you go. Yeah, like actually like across and that the Sonic street, is right there too. That Sonic is right in front. Yep. You know, you know what's up. Yeah. So <laughs> I know the know city. I know the city. Uh, I, right. I know because I was I lived in Central West End at the time. So um so, yeah, so so do you you uh, so Tupac has died and you got yes. shoes the same day? No, 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 no. I oh, that would be an amazing story. If I, I was just no. trying, I was trying to Create that into fruition that that was that was no the, the I wish no 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 um what happened was one of my neighbors his nephew was the uh manager at Champs at St Louis Center Dang, he got me man. an interview yes, the center the center he got me an interview at the store met him did my interview got hired like I think on the spot for a cashier. People and people don't understand that used to happen then. <laughs> yes, yes. There was no God, process going back to HR. They didn't have oh. to send your like the manager was like, oh. "You, you, what's two plus two? Four. Right. You hire. Four. You do it. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, because his girlfriend was the current cashier, and she needed she couldn't stay because she um I think something she had to go back to her job or something. So they need a cashier. I ended up coming in and cashiering. 
And as I'm there, I'm like, all these shoes, I'm like, ooh, ah. Uh, and you seen a new I, one come in? Yes. I remember working my first Jordan day. Oh my God. I never worked the Jordan day. They was like, I was like, what's Jordan day? They let, so they're telling me about it. I'm like, oh, okay. You have to be here before the mall open. You have to come around this way. You had to go in a different way through the mall to get in. And only stores that were open was Champs, Lady Foot Locker, Foot Locker, and Kids Foot Locker. Those are the only stores that were open at the time early for Jordans. So you come in and get your Jordans. Now, you couldn't hold a Jordan. If you're buying them, and I'm the cashier, you want to buy, would you like some extra laces? So I'm, uh, I have to upsell. Upsell. So the guys are, right. So the guys are running, go get Jordans. I'm looking like, ooh, ah, ooh, look at all these shoes. And that's where my love of sneakers started, was working at Champs. And then I slowly built up a few, had a few sneakers here and there, nothing real big. But then I didn't really get heavy into sneakers. And I'm going to blame my, one of my sisters for this. Because <laughs> what was it? It was a Christmas uh, about three, four, four, four or five years ago. She bought me a pair of sneakers for Christmas. And they were really cute. They were a pair of, um, and I actually still have them. Uh, they are Nike. Oh crap. Why well, I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name of them for some odd reason. She got those for me for Christmas. And I was like, oh, these are so cool. Oh my God. They're slip on and they're extra comfortable. I bought another pair in another color. The sh with the, sharks, part with of the, the sharks? No, no, no. They were, um, they're like, they're cross trainers. Okay. Actually. And I bought another pair in a different color. Then I part of, bought a pair of Vince sneakers, which are like a hundred and some odd dollars, but I got them cheaper because I got them at all fifth. And then I just went on this roll, this run of buying sneakers. Now my collection, we're, I'm tipping near a hundred if I'm not at a hundred already. Mm. We're <laughs> not going to talk about today's purchase. <laughs> <laughs> So you're at a hundred pair of sneakers right now. I think I'm close. If I'm not at a hundred, I'm very close. Last, my last count before I moved was 88. Yeah. You killing, you it's killing bad. me. I'm probably at around a good 40. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> oh God, no. Like, are, but, are, are you, are you like a trader with them? Or are they, are you like a, uh, like a hoarder with them? Like, are you like one oh, of those? I'm a hoarder. Okay, so you oh keep God, them I'm all. It's not like you like, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to these because they go oh, no, no, popular. No. You don't. Oh, no, you're no, not no. using them like the stock market. <laughs> oh God, no. Uh, uh. I put. I wear all my shoes. Okay. I wear them. All. There's probably one pair I have not worn. No, the no, there's one or two pair I haven't worn. And one one pair is because I don't have an outfit that works yet. <laughs> okay. And the other pair they kind of slide in the back, but that's okay. I'm still keeping them. I almost so I've only sold one pair. And that's because I messed around and got them a half size too small. And I can't find them anymore. I don't know how the heck I did that, but I did it. And then I did that with another pair, but I'm keeping those because those are the Kendrick Lamars. And I'm keeping those. <laughs> so, oh, the Kendrick uh, Lamars. Oh, wow. Yeah, those were the um, the house slippers. The um, And I have them pictured in my head. Because I have the React Elements. I wore those to Denver. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a funny story. I wore those. We, we, I'm in Nordstrom at Cherry Creek Mall in Denver. What, we just walked in. It's me and my sister and, my, and one of my nieces. Literally just walked into Nordstrom. We're looking at something. This guy comes out of nowhere. Are those the Kendrick Lamars? Ah, are those the Kendrick <laughs> I was like, yeah. I forgot I put them on. I'm like, yeah. He was like, oh my God, I've never seen anybody wear their sneakers and not like have them in display. I said, oh no, I wear all my shoes. But some people, I guess, display them or whatever. No, uh-uh. I ain't gonna spend no $200 and I wear my damn shoes. Come on. That's just, that's ludicrous. Yeah. <laughs> that is, is it, oh, what was it? Uh, What was it with the Grey Poupon? Or was it like, uh, uh, it's futile. Oh, I forgot the commercial word. Oh, like um, uh, what was, oh, no. You know I'm what I mean? Of, when he was like, it was <laughs> yeah. I was going to do the polanter all fruit. Would you, would you please pass the jelly? Yeah, yeah no, no, no. It was oh, like, not uh, like that one. It was, 
No, go ahead. I'm trying to. I yeah, I'm trying to think it. what it was. It was like a. And maybe more than that, though, maybe it was like a right guard commercial. I'm trying to remember what it was. And it was like David Robinson, something like, you know, oh, man, or Charles. I don't know. It was somebody. And, it was so long ago. Yeah. And, you know, I'm getting old, so I, I can't. That's okay. It. That's okay. That is quite all right. I understand. <laughs> so the handbags thing. So how did you combine the handbags so, with the sneakers thing? Like, the yeah, like to, to, to make the mess. How did I put it all together? Yeah. Um, funny thing was when I was in, um, I was taking marketing, my uh, marketing classes, they were like, um, you guys have to come up. You all, part of our program is we have to have a blog. Uh, and they were like, you put on WordPress, whatever, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, where, am, what name am I going to come up with? Funny thing, I happened to look at um, Time Hop. And some years before, I said, if I write a book, it's going to be called Handbags and Sneakers. Because those are the two things that I love the most. And the name Sneakers and Handbags, it was like, what? I want a name that's going to stand out. And, it and that is out. me. Yeah. And that, that's legitimately me. Because if, if it wasn't handbags or sneakers, it was going to be about music. So it was just like, what could I do? And I was just like, sneakers and handbags. Because those are two things. If you want to describe me, either she's a music junkie, she loves a good handbag, and she always got a nice pair of kicks on. That those are things that can describe me, and that's that's me. So that's why I went with that name. And when I did the name change this year, be, because I was starting the website, I was like, I got to do. I wanted all the branding to be the same, instead of just being naturally Stacy. And I found out right before I did the name change that there is a person on YouTube called Naturally Stacy Stacy. Oh. And I was like, oh, wow. Um, this, is, I, this is right on time then. Yeah, ex exactly. It worked. And like one of my sisters got really pissed off. And I was like, I have nothing to be mad about. I mean, she can have Naturally Stacy now, but unfortunately she can't use it on TikTok because I still have it. <laughs> and, and Snapchat, I still have it. Uh, I didn't change my name over there. But no, I did. Um, I went on and went to sneakers and handbags because I just wanted everything to be uniform. And I love the name. And no one can take that from me. It's mine. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. And did, did did you, when you, that that's a dope name combination together with it. Um, is, what is the, what is the future for, for the, for, for the uh, brand of that? Like with sneakers and handbags? Like what's your well, ideal of what it is? Well, right now it's just more like a lifestyle. It's my lifestyle right now because in, I think that's really what I, I would like to make it into something bigger, but I'm still kind of flushing out. I'm, I'm a, a work in progress, everything. Even my website, it's up and running, but I'm still making changes. And in the YouTube, I still, I'm just one of those people that I can't do, keep it one way and leave it one way. <laughs> I want to, I, I just, I wanted to like evolve. Every day, I want some new evolution. I was just working on the site yesterday. Okay, I changed the pic, my about me picture. I didn't like the picture I used. I changed the picture. I'm like taking pages out, adding pages. I, I, I think it's more of my, it's my lifestyle. My lifestyle is sneakers, handbag, handbag. music, um, documentaries, just a whole big pot of fun. That's what I, I like to say. It's like a big pot of fun because it's not just one thing. One thing it, is okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's it's it's super dope. The whole concept of that is super, super, super dope. So it is it, it so you're 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 basically the sneakers and handbags actually with the rebranding is expanding your brand overall, period, to be able to do more than just what it was before, I'm assuming. Yes, yes, that that's it. Yeah. I mean, like I said, natural hair is still here. <laughs> you know, yeah. still talking about it. But I want to talk about more stuff. Like, I bought a black Christmas tree this past Christmas. Yeah, that is. What's going on? How is that? Because I mean, I've been seeing a lot of people doing that. Um, I think for me, with COVID and me, I'm not gonna say being aware of my blackness. Just be more aware of everything. 
I wanted something different. I had a traditional green Christmas tree for Christmas and that was my, my very first tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but I wanted something fun. And so black is this, is this a fake tree. So you're putting this, so you're yes. going to put this up. Okay. So it's, Oh yeah. It's my tree is still up from Christmas. Cause I saw some people being ridiculous actually taking a green tree and trying to paint it black. Oh no. I bought this from Walmart. <laughs> it's a six foot black tree. Yes. Yes. I have a six foot black tree. I was on the phone with my sister. It's funny. A majority of my stories are I was on the phone with my sister <laughs> because we we're always on. The, we're always talking. Did and you put now, it? With, did you did you put the make the garland kente cloth though? No, but that's going to be next year. <laughs> all right, I need to uh, ahead of time. Hopefully COVID on this shit is over. I need to do an Akbar X segment in front of that tree with kente cloth all around it. <laughs> Bet. Like I need to, like, I've been, I was like, yo, what is the most ridiculous thing Akbar could do? Have a black Christmas tree with all kente cloth on it. Hey, if we can find some kente <laughs> cloth, black. I'm here. I'm that black. I'm here for that. I'm here. I'm that black that I have yes. a black Christmas tree with kente cloth as the garden. Yes. I love, and my black Christmas tree, I come down the steps every morning. It's like I said, my tree is still up. I have not taken my tree down. Oh, shit. Which, you're you're, you're yes. going into three months here. I know. I know. <laughs> and when I got that tree, I, I remember finding it online and telling my sisters I'm going to do black because one of my sisters has a white tree. I wanted black. At first, I wanted pink. And I said, wait, no, I want a black tree. <laughs> they yeah. were like, hey. yes. So I found one at Walmart, went and got it. And was I a lot of black Walmart. people, were, not a lot of black people, were people, a lot of people buying black trees? Or is it like a whole bunch there? Like, or was it? Um, I think it was like three or four left. So I think some people did buy some oh, black wow, trees. Okay. But, and I mean, I was so like, the black trees are black tree. <laughs> yeah, I think they have. And I was mad and it, it's already pre-lit. So I didn't have to buy lights. So I was oh, like, wow. Oh, yep. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get a black tree. And I found some black reindeer. I had those up and I did silver ornaments and everything. I had a black and silver um, uh, skirt, everything. It was just, I was just like, oh my God, I got a black tree. And like my former coworkers, they were like, you actually have a black tree? I said, yeah, I'm why that not? Black. I'm that and black. I'm blackity black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh- I cut my hair off again hello i'm black yeah, you've done it multiple times though you've cut your hair multiple times this is my third time i've cut it i actually cut it the day before my birthday mm. yeah yeah and so but people didn't see it outside my family until the day of my birthday i was on facetime with my sisters and i said you know what i put my hair in four sections Snip, snip. oh you cut it yourself <laughs> yes 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 oh wow. yes yeah you're wilding with that yeah i was like i will be 45 tomorrow <laughs> screw it let's go i'm tired Makes of sense. it i'm like took 30 minutes to wash my hair after i would come home from work i'm like no <laughs> and then the next week i lost my job so <laughs> all right now it's time for our lightning lightning question section this or that Okay. All right. All right. So you ready? only have two choices. I give you this or that. Right. Let me put my hood on. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. First one is out the box. Jay Z or Nas? Jay Z. All right. Next up, Air Maxes or Jordans? Depends on the Jordan. See, so, no, but no, I, you don't get that. You don't get. These but I will say questions. Jordan. But I'll say Jordan. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fresh Prince or Martin? Martin. Okay. Okay. You you're very definitive in these court, these statements. Like I don't even know have no wiggle room to even try to kind of. I, I have issues with Will Smith right now, so um, it is gonna be Martin. But it actually was always Martin because Fresh Prince was cool, but I like Martin better. Yeah. So yeah. All right, Biggie or Tupac? Tupac. Okay. I own all of the CDs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Vape or gummies? Gummies. This is a new, this is a new question, y'all. I know y'all are like, whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all, yeah, I've gummies. heard this one. All right. Because I've had I've had gummies before, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm I don't do gummies at all. Oh, you don't. <laughs> I passed off like a day and a half. Oh, see, if I'm at home in a controlled environment, I'm here for it. No, I was out of town. Oh, see, uh, and see, I was like, yo, I'm chilling because I couldn't get a flight out, and I was like. 
oh, I'm gonna do some oh. gummies. I was, you know, out of town. I was like, man, I'll do it, man. Yo, woke up right before my flight was finna leave and got, I got there, but I mean, like, it was like enough time for me to get there. To, right. I literally yeah. slept the whole day, like that whole day, got oh up my God. Sunday. No, I have to do it at home. If I'm gonna do it, I'm at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I can't yeah, do that. <laughs> So, and the people are like, yo, you did too many. I'm like, I'm, I'm fine. I just know that, that that was my lesson for me there you go. to touch it again. And that and that wisdom comes with age. Age. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. Now, this is a triple threat match. Okay. All right. Boys All right. in the Let's Hood, check. New Jack City, or Juice. Oh, come on. It's a triple threat match. Okay. I'm going with Boys in the Hood. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on, boys in the hood. Yes. Yep. Because that movie was all of those movies were great. Yes. Yes. But I went to the movies to see Boys in the Hood. New Jack City. I saw on cable. Oh, you didn't see that in theaters? No, I did not. Unfortunately. And what was the other one? Juice. 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 Was that a date? I think I was on a date with somebody with that movie, but I didn't hate it. I love the movie. But I loved Boys in the Hood. Okay. And I had the soundtrack. And I had it on VHS. Oh, so yeah, you, you're thorough with it then. You got it on VHS. You were you were down yeah. by law. Yeah. Um, all right. Next up, this is a this is gonna be a tricky one for, for some people, particularly women. <laughs> love and basketball or love Jones. Love Jones, because it's music. Okay. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> what's the name yeah, of, what's, what's, what's his her name is Shadow 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 hey boo boo you're not gonna look in the camera are you <laughs> she's, not, she's not she don't want to do that she wants to get on the desk so I will leave her to the desk <laughs> all right next up all right Marvel or DC Marvel now is that comics or movies that you're saying that for overall movies I'm not I don't hate comics. I was just never into comics. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. North side, south side, or west side, St. Louis? <laughs> um, I'm going to go with <laughs> west side because I grew up major my high school years. Or were east, on the side. West side. east side, too. Oh, no, I ain't going to miss the east side. <laughs> I, I, I've had a lot of memories on the east side. <laughs> Those late, late nights on the east yes. side. But no. Um, I would I will say West because my middle and high, no actually no all my school years were West so yeah West Side yeah West Side okay okay because yep. you because you grew West up on the West Side um majority of it was like Central West End West End okay type. yeah so that's the West Side I mean that's basically yep. the West Side mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. all right next up this one is strictly for uh, another strictly St Louis uh, question yes all right. London and Sons oh, or Mother's Fish. <laughs> oh, come on. No, no, no. Ah! <laughs> London and Sons. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm going London and Sons. I need my I need my three piece with fries, with an extra biscuit, with extra hot sauce and ketchup. <laughs> oh, I know I got a whole order. Yeah. I got a whole yeah. order. That's a strictly a St. Louis question, y'all. Yes. You know, that's yes. A, even if you, you have to be down by law of St. Louis in the, to get that, uh, <laughs> to understand yes. that debate Mother's Fish versus oh uh, London and Sons. <laughs> oh, Lord, but Mother's was the jam, though. No. Damn, that was the jam. Even they, they, count, they tr keep trying to recreate it with this name. I'd be seeing Mother's pop up, and it ain't Mother's. Yeah. They put a Mother's in in Clayton. I saw that. Yes. I didn't trust it. I saw it on uh, Me uh, on uh, on a uh, uh, Grubhub or whatever, and I was like, yeah. I don't trust that. Uh uh, I saw it. I remember walking. I was going to get sushi. <laughs> oh, so you actually <laughs> seen the establishment? I just saw I the, saw it. I saw the yeah, name of it, it online. Um, it was on off of Forsyth. It was like Central Forsyth over there, and I walked out like mothers. No, it kept going because I'm going to get my sushi, but I was like. That ain't who I did you, think did you it go in to see if it was anybody black? Mm -mm, no, I wasn't going in because you're in Clayton. Nothing against Clayton. I love Clayton, but mothers in Clayton. 
that just don't that don't doesn't correlate that now mothers no. and clayton would work if they had three other locations in other parts right. of the city then like yes. okay well, i see they trying to do some fine dining version in clayton. Right. <laughs> but no but i'm like no i mean i was happy when uh london and sons reopened at uh what was that skinker yeah uh, was well when it turns to keelan in yeah keelan and when i saw that i was like we going to but we going to London the Sun. My cousin who my cousin lived in um Olivet. She one time she caught me leave coming from work and because I was working at um part-time at DSW and um was coming home. She caught me and she was like, What you about to do? I said, I'm gonna go in the house. She's like, I'm going to London. I said, Let me drop my stuff. <laughs> Boyfriend at the time, I said, Hey, my cousin here. London and Sons, we on the way. We all pile in her car. We ride down to London. <laughs> we go to London and Sons and go eat. Well, I was like, dude, I'm the last time I had, what was the last time I had London and Sons? I haven't had London and Sons in a good while. Because I think they closed it. It's not the there one on The one on the one on Skinker or whatever is closed? Yeah, Kaylin, yep. Oh, last I, damn. Last I passed by it. I think we were in the middle of the move in here. We passed it, and yeah, I think they're gone. And so I'm COVID still, took it out because I think it was open before COVID. I no, I thought it was closed before COVID. Oh, dang! They, they then COVID didn't take it out. Damn, it was on. Yeah, they were gone before COVID because I moved in COVID. So uh, they were gone. Be, so you, they were gone. It, it, it was been closed. It wasn't like it had just yep. closed. It had been yep. closed. Like they'd already brought out all the stuff. Yeah, you know, it was an empty parking lot. It wasn't like oh, yeah. We just now somebody else is in the spot now too. Oh, that's right. You know what? I mm -hmm. think there is another business that moved in there. Yep. I don't know who it is, but it ain't London. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the so thing. He's trying to replace, like, class. Oh, my but Harold's been... Chicken is here in St. Louis now, though. Where? On Union. On Union. Oh, okay. I'm on Union and, uh, I believe, Union and MLK. Okay. Oh, ooh. Ooh, that's my sister ain't gonna drive now. And your eyes booked up like, oh shit. Oh, hold up now. Because I'm thinking like, oh, because I'm going to my mom's house tomorrow. She in the West End, so maybe we no, can no, no, lay no, over. No, 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 that's West Side Union. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. My mama is not, no, 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 no. We could. I grew up in close to the area. That ain't nothing to me to run over to Union, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, well, funny thing is, I my high school years, I was on uh, Euclid by Kings Highway, Delmar. Oh, and that was years. before, and if anybody's moved newly to St. Louis or they're younger, that's before the gentrification happened <laughs> over that area. There you go. <laughs> and that's, yeah, because now it's the oldies that used to be a schnooks. Yes. Yes. And Club Mercedes mm -hmm. was in front of there. Yes, <laughs> yes, Club Mercedes. I was too young. I, I never was... got, but I heard about Club Mercedes. <laughs> I used to, I remember in the evenings, Cause my dad lived down the street, down Euclid from us. And I remember going with him somewhere and it was in the evening and you hear club Mercedes popping. I'm like, I wish I could go. <laughs> club oh, Mercedes, man. No, but instead I went to the monastery and <laughs> oh damn, the club casino. Club <laughs> Casino. Meet me at the Bino way in the back. Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. I can't even tell you all the dang clubs I've been. Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. Where's Cloud? Was Cloud Nine on the east side? East side. Fights, 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 fights. So it's, fights. Hold on. It's Cloud Nine. I know where Cloud Nine is. I know yep. where Cloud Nine is. I've been to Cloud yep. Nine a couple times. It was fights. It's still open. Well, it was still fights. open. I know. Uh, it, Before in the 2010s, it was still yeah. open. Yeah, now, I don't know. Yeah, that. I, yeah, I, I stopped going out, and I was just like, I can't, I can't anymore. Yeah. My knees, man, I can't drop it like it's hot no more. I need my knee braces for that. <laughs> oh man, no, no, no. Snoop, stop telling me to drop it like it's hot. No, drop it like no, no, no. I, no. He ain't even doing that no more. If you see Snoop performances, he kind of stands still with his the mic. And just yeah, it. yeah. He he might do a little bit there, a little yeah, he do a little like, bit, nah, a, little, a little bit of crib walk, not too much of yeah. a walk. Yeah, just, just a walk. Yeah. It ain't a crib uh -uh. walk. It's a walk. No, he about 50, 50, 55, 60 years old, man. He can't do all that. Yeah, Snoop is yeah, over fifty. Yeah, he's over fifty because Dre just turned fifty six. Yes, uh huh. And, and so Snoop, Snoop is was... probably 51, 52. Yeah, yep. Because it's so funny to see hip hop 
or hip hop in the fifties. Yeah. It's so crazy. So well, it's well, like I'm well, still. Prince Marky D dying. Oh my god! I'm I still thought he tripping. was actually older than what he was, though. Yeah, when I saw his age, that messed me up. I was like, that, that's gotta be a lot. Fifty three. That that don't even make sense because Jay Z is damn near fifty three. Mm-hmm. Like you said, Dre just turned fifty six. Right. They were he, they were blown up way before way before even yep. got even was thought of. Yep. So it's so it's scary. It is. It. I think what year was that when everybody like Prince, uh, David Bowie, all these people no, that's died. Two thousand twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Like 13, yeah. 13. No, maybe yeah, like 14. Like, no. Maybe like 14, 15. Yeah, something like that. I can't remember. But like that's the year I really tripped out. Like, oh my God. I'm all my hero, all my people I watched are dying on me. What the hell? Mm-hmm. How old am I? I mean, it's bad enough to be a great aunt, but I'm like, holy crap. You're a great aunt? The people, yes. Oh, I've been an aunt. Yeah, I've been an aunt for years. Uh, I was eight when I became an aunt for the first time. No, oh. I was seven, turning eight when I became an aunt for the first time. Okay. And now I'm a great aunt to three, six girls. Oh, yeah, she wow. has three. She has three. Yes. Yes. So you're the youngest I, been, of your sisters. Yes. Yes. It's four of us total. My mama had all girls. My poor father. <laughs> my poor father he, just stayed he had to go drink some jack no he was asleep because he was working all the time <laughs> <laughs> he was working at a coal plant so he was working swing shift day shift night shift midnight only time you saw him was you heard him snoring <laughs> he was he was james evans pretty much or he was under a car because he was a mechanic too so he did you know so we we saw him it's funny i remember telling somebody i don't remember my father my first five years because he was always working. And I mean, I remember hearing him snore, but, but seeing him, I didn't see him at all. Like, I don't remember, I don't remember a lot of him. <laughs> and then later on, it's like, oh, there's my daddy. There's my daddy right there. Oh, that's there's the guy daddy. that was snoring. <laughs> yeah, that's my daddy right there. And my mom washing his clothes and his uniforms and stuff and the blue water coming out. I'm like, <laughs> Stacey, that's my daddy. <laughs> Stacy, thank you for coming on. I appreciate you so well, much. Thank for you doing- for having me. Where can everybody hit you up social media wise? And check okay. out YouTube as well. Okay, YouTube and Instagram at sneakers and handbags, all one word, or at sneakers and handbags on Instagram. YouTube is sneakers and handbags. Um, Twitter is sneakers handbags. <laughs> there, you couldn't get and in there. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, TikTok is naturally Stacy and um Snapchat is, is naturally safe. There's so many things. Uh, but yeah, it's just either sneakers and handbags or naturally safe. So th- those are the two places. I, I couldn't get into the TikTok thing. <clears throat> I'm slowly, I'm slowly doing TikTok. It's, but the thing is with TikTok and b- being black on TikTok, mm-hmm. they messing with black folks. So what do you mean? Well, I'm is hearing a Asian lot of company or something, right? Something like I heard they're like um, Chinese or something, yeah. I think. But like the thing is, a lot of black creators are not getting the look, but we're getting this here on YouTube also. You're not getting a lot of love on um, TikTok. Then you got people getting shadow banned. And like, you'll see white people say racist things and do racist stuff. Nothing happens to them. But then when a black person calls them out, they get in trouble (laughs) or their video gets taken down. And it's like, okay, I'm just going to do safe stuff like with my cat. (laughs) <laughs> maybe i'll show my face i don't know so yeah. tiktok is it's meto meto i'm i'm on there somewhat i do more on instagram so if you really want to talk to me i'm on instagram more instagram. which is uh, sneakers and handbags yeah and what's your blog too for people to check oh out? my blog is called sneakers and handbags <laughs> dot net <laughs> there yeah, you sneakers and handbags dot net yes yeah plug all that stuff man anything, yes, anything, yes, do yes. you have a facebook uh fan page or anything people can Sneakers and handbags on Facebook, yes. <laughs> I it. told you the brand. It's no, the no, brand. no, 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 no. That's the same thing with me. Like, you can find yeah. SLC Network everywhere. Like, you can just put it in, yeah. you'll find everything, everything, you yeah. need, uh, wherever it is. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you, Stacey. I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank and, you uh, for having me. 
anything else you need to tell everybody or any videos coming up or anything that you could preview for people to check out that's coming up on the YouTube page too? Uh, let's see, this Sunday at nine o'clock Central Standard Time, new video will be dropping. Um, oh, it's a hair hair product review. I'm actually gonna put out a hair product review. I haven't done one in a while. And uh, March, I'm looking at going to two videos a week. So I'm taking any and all ideas for uh, what topics people want to hear about. Wednesdays, new blogs drop on seekersandhandbags.net. So, and this Wednesday, we're going to talk about my love of sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This I so, love it's it. so funny I that you it. asked me that question. I was like, this is going in my blog, but I'm going to talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, gave you, gave you a preview of a way to, to set it up to write it. Yes, there you go. Yep. All right, once again, thank y'all for listening. We appreciate it. Peace.